Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to go over a fun and easy way to remember features of prader willi syndrome versus Angelman syndrome. To start off, I'm going to introduce these two siblings named prader willi and Angelman. Now, the reason I want you to associate the two together is because both involved chromosome 15 being affected. Let's start off with prader willi 1. He likes to be called Willy for short. When I think of the name Willy, I think of it being commonly used as a boy name. So think more of a male. In prader willi syndrome, it is due to a paternal gene deletion or mutation. So from the dad. 2. Now back to his name. I want you to say prader willi. Notice the downturn mouth when you say pra. A feature seen in prader willi syndrome is the downturned mouth. 3. Do you see his stomach growling? Hmm, someone's hungry. He's growling for ghrelin. That's because there's increased ghrelin secretion. That might explain why he seems hungry all the time. 4. Look at that burger. Yum, yum. Due to increased ghrelin secretion, Willie just can't stop eating. He's experiencing hyperphagia. I mean, look at his shirt. He loves to eat. 5. See his stomach belly? Kind of reminds me of the number 5. See the round part of it? Now, it may need to use a little of your imagination, so I wrote out the number 15, just to remind that it is chromosome 15 that's affected. 6. Willie got himself a stomach belly from the high intake of calories and overeating. People with prader willi syndrome tend to be obese. 7. Look at his squiggly arms. Doesn't seem to have much tone. These flaccid arms should remind you of hypotonia, another feature that is seen. 8. Because this syndrome involves pituitary gland dysfunction, there may be a decrease in growth hormone, leading to small hands and feet, as shown here. And when there's decreased growth hormone, it may also lead to short stature. 9. Pituitary gland dysfunction may also cause decreased gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH, leading to hypogonadism. And therefore, nothing is emphasized in this genital area. 10. I drew this swirly with stars to represent intellectual disability, another feature that's seen. 11. Look at Willie's eyes. Are those almonds? I guess he has almond-shaped eyes. 12. On his shirt, you notice the 2 is written as the number 2, and that's because OCA2 gene seems to be the affected gene. Next, let's talk about Willie's sister, Angel Man. 1. She likes to be called Angel for short, which is a girl name. And look at her beautiful angel wings. Hopefully, this reminds you of Angel Man. And since she's a girl, this syndrome is due to a maternal gene deletion or mutation. So, from the mom. 2. Look at her facial expression. It has this happy puppet look. And she seems to be laughing all the time. <laughs> Maybe described as an inappropriate laughter. 3. Do you see those tremors on her arms and legs? Ataxia is another feature that's seen. 4. Look at her head. It's like there are these sudden intense electrical activity going on there. Hopefully that reminds you of seizures. 5. I drew this swirly with stars again to represent intellectual disability, another feature that's seen. 6. Angel is eating ube ice cream. Mmm, yum, yum. And look closely, there are three scoops. And is that a cone on the top? It looks like the letter A. In Angel Man Syndrome, it is the UBE3A gene that's affected. Well, that's the end of my video. Hope you find this helpful and simple. Please feel free to comment below. 
And just a disclaimer, I am a second year medical student currently in the preparation of studying for my step one. A lot of the information in my video is found in resources many med school students use, including first aid. I love to think of creative ways to help myself remember the content and I want to share it with you all. I hope that this was fun and simple enough that you guys won't forget. So see you guys in my next video.